Hey awesome friends, I am Awesome Danny, and tonight I have something really cool uh, to share with you. I almost guarantee that none of you even know what this is, because I didn't know what it was uh, until somebody brought it to my attention. And they actually set this up to be sent in for review. So Fiddler, thank you for setting this up. Really, really really nice set of buds and i'm gonna tell you all about it but first please consider you know liking subscribing all that nonsense uh the numbers go up makes happy chemicals in the brain you know and we're almost at 700 subscribers so that's very exciting goal is 1000 by the end of the year and we're pretty close so i would appreciate it you help me out there thanks team all right so these buds again filler brought them up messaged me about them he said hey i bought these buds from a builder in hungary yes hungary um i bet you guys can't point that out on a map i know you americans can't but so anyways uh diy buds from a guy in hungary mr peter simon uh these are called the phoenix he his brand goes by the name once upon audio and these actually were a little familiar and you'll see why when i show off the build again this is a loner set it's not even mine he let me borrow this set send it out for me to review uh and then i'm gonna send it back to him after the video is done it's a little polarizing for me it was very good for some stuff uh not as enjoyable for other things and i'm going to go ahead and tell you about all that again mr peter thank you so much for letting me borrow your work and i do appreciate it but let's go ahead and get into looking at the bud itself also please keep in mind that he is a one-man show and i'm not sure how long he's been doing this uh i think he mentioned at least a year but just, you know, getting the ball rolling. There's a lot that goes into building earbuds and then getting them sent out worldwide. So if you guys end up interested, I will leave a link uh, to his Facebook uh, page in the description below. But please be patient. You know, just common courtesy. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Phoenix from Once Upon Audio. So these run at $150 US and they actually have a detachable cable connected with a MMCX connector. I really like the overall build. They feel really solid and I like this cable. I like the idea of, you know, not having to replace the buds if uh, Sonny happens to get his claws on them. Uh, rip Alter Rider 3. Sorry, Riku. Did my best to protect it. So they're in these bell shells. And as you can see there, that might look a little familiar. So it turns out these actually have the same driver as the TGX Ear Serratus. Serratus? 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 I don't know. Tell me in the comments which one's right. So by default, they came with these big, kind of fluffy, oversized uh, foams. I didn't use those. It was really, really weird how big they were. And then there's also a little pack of extra foams. So obviously, we are going to be comparing to the Serratus overall since they share the same driver, but they actually don't sound the same. They're a little different. The Phoenix, I would consider these overall pretty warm. They're overall warm tuning. They have some very similar characteristics as the Serratus, Serratus, Serratus. Basically, if you have heard the Serratus, Serratus, 
it's gonna drive me insane this is overall slightly warmer and less bright less sparkly i guess uh it does have the same little anti-shout cut in the upper mids that bring you know female vocals a little bring them down a little bit make them a little bit more mellow makes a lot of instruments a little smoother overall with less bite but where the serratus serratus uh has that extra sparkle in the upper treble this doesn't and this also has a little bit more emphasis on the lower mids and mid bass so these are slightly warmer while the serratus has that extra sparkle and it sounds a little bit leaner like it's just a bit like i still consider serratus to have decent no wait this one is just a little heavier and darker so again build is great i actually really like the fit of these so this shell fits very nice to me and it was very comfortable to wear for basically forever and also along with the tuning uh made for a very a very mellow kind of non-fatiguing listen which is great for all you multi-hour longer session listeners it has the same musicality aspect and approach as the serratus so a lot of you know strings have good resonance the lower mids are just very lush and full-bodied so the issue came with my usual library uh but you guys are familiar uh with my haste i like you know a lot of the mainstream you know pop or a lot of k-pop a lot of the you know a lot of already kind of naturally bass heavy uh music that has a lot of emphasis on high energy vocals and sparkly treble and it's like high intensity with a faster tempo so while the, Ser the serratus was okay for my music library i didn't really like it that much this uh this set is less favorable in that music uh genre uh once you know i put on some some k-pop with it being fast tempoed with a lot of mid bass and very busy you can hear the phoenix have a little bit of trouble keeping that separated the lower mids it sounded a little bloated a little fluffier and just boomier and didn't sound great on stuff like that but it does great in a lot of other genres a lot of stuff where you know you have real instruments instead of it being digitally made or whatever a little difficult for me to explain but just basically anything that's like live or has like a band and there's strings and you know drums like uh, metal or country Ugh. and anything that's slower paced with a good emphasis on rich mids these excel that so while it wasn't great for k-pop it was really good for ballads which is like the other half of my library so a lot of female vocals were non-fatiguing but still full-bodied and just piano notes are so full and you can feel the resonance whenever they're struck same with strings like your bass and your guitars and then since there's that little bit of a the upper mid mid cut um electric guitars aren't as piercing and fatiguing so some metal stuff was nice but again if it's uh if it's like clean mid bass stuff it's good but as soon as you start getting to more bass heavy stuff it gets a little too boomy and starts stumbling on itself but yeah overall it's a great set uh if it's something that sounds appealing to you i can you know recommend this build again a solid fit was great but basically you're looking at just a a warmer and uh less bright serratus with the option of changing out your cable if sunny ever gets their 
freaking hands on it. This cable came with a uh, with a 3.5 termination. And again, the cable's very nice. So that's it. Once upon an audio, the Phoenix. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you have heard of the set. Again, I had never heard of it before. Great set. I can't wait to see more work from Peter. Again, not my overall tuning preference here, but you have a great build, replaceable cable, rich tonality with good note weight for your more musical stuff. I really enjoy these with like orchestral music. So if you're into that kind of genres for the price, 150 US dollars, it's it's good. It's solid undercutting Serratus a bit, but I still personally prefer Serratus. If I could somehow get the Serratus sound in this build, that would be my ideal pick out of the two. But anyways, that's it for me today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate the continued support. And until next time, you stay awesome, friends. Bye.